Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys some really useful iPhone hidden features that I believe every iPhone user must know. These are iOS secrets that of course you don't learn about them from Apple, but you will learn about them through this video. They're really, really useful and probably you will use most of them on daily basis. Now, another thing you should use right now is the like button of this video that really, really helps out a lot and of course will help the video and the channel do much, much better. So let's start it off with the first one. Go to the camera app and you probably know that from here, from the photo mode, you will actually be able to shoot a video. Simply hold here and start shooting a video. Of course, you can lock it right here if you want to continue shooting the video. But did you know that you can actually press and hold here, start shooting the video and then swipe up or down like this to zoom in and out while shooting the video? That's really, really useful. With only one finger, you can record a video and still zoom in and out while recording the video. You probably know that on the home screen of your iPhone, you can just gather a bunch of different icons and of course move them around on any of the pages on your home screen. Now I can do the same here with shortcuts. So let's say you want to rearrange your shortcuts or maybe you want to put them on the favorites here. What you got to do is simply drag one of them and then you can just go ahead and select the other ones. And of course you can move them around. Let's say you want to rearrange, you want to put these at the top, just go ahead and move them at the top just like that. Very simple and easy easy to do. You will actually be able to do the same with the files as well. So when you go to your files app, all you gotta do is 3D touch on one of them and then of course select the other ones and you can go ahead and move them around, maybe place them on another folder or just move them around on the files app even drag a bunch of them out of the files app and maybe put them on an email or something like that. That's very, very useful as well. And of course makes it very easy to select and move multiple files on your iPhone. Now, another thing that you can do on the files app is group your files. Tap on the three dots right there and select use groups. Now, once you have done that, you can see what it does right here. It has grouped my files into documents, PDF documents, as well as spreadsheets. That's very easy to do. And of course, it will make it much, much easier to find the file that you need. If you have a bunch of those on your files app, this is pretty useful. Now, what you can do is also go to groups now and you can go ahead and choose how you want to actually group them. You will have three different options. So you can group them based on the type of document or the date they have been, of course, downloaded or saved on your files app or by size, which means that you can see from one to 10 megabytes and then the smaller ones right here at the bottom. There is a very easy way to message anyone you want directly from the spotlight search of your device from the lock screen. So with iOS 15, you don't actually need to go into the device or into the messages app or the phone app to make a call or send a message. All you have to do is just search for the contact directly on the lock screen of your device. Once you have found the contact, you can just go ahead and simply tap right there the icon and you will be able to go straight to the conversation and of course, make send a message or make a call if you want to use the FaceTime or the phone app directly from the lock screen without having to even unlock your device. On iOS, of course, we have home screen widgets and you can create stacks of widgets. So here I have three of them and I have them arranged automatically here as I have put them on the stack here, but you can go ahead and go into the stack here, tap on edit stack. And what you can do is actually tap and hold one of them and you will be able to rearrange the home screen widgets that you have on a stack any way you like. So make sure you just go ahead, 3D touch on one of them and just place each of them on the place that you want. Rearrange them any way you feel like you need to without having to leave them rearranged automatically. Now with iOS 15, Apple has of course added the new notification summary. Now when you have an app's notifications on the summary, you will get this on your lock screen. So when you have a notification, but it's still not summary time, it will show you right Right here your next summary and it shows you which notifications will be on your next summary now what you can do in this case if you see one that you might be interested on just go ahead and 3d touch on that and from here tap the three little dots and you can go ahead and choose to deliver these immediately to you so you just tap right there and these notifications will now be immediately delivered to you of course without having to wait for the summary of the notifications simple but very useful trick on the mail app. If you want to go to your drafts, you don't have to actually go ahead and search 
for the drafts folder anywhere you're on your mail app doesn't matter if you're on your inbox outbox or on the trash anywhere you're at all you gotta do is just go ahead and hold right there on the new email button and you can go ahead and choose any of your drafts from here you will see your drafts but of course you can also go ahead and start typing a new email directly from this list now this one is pretty pretty useful and of course very simple a lot of people might know this but i've noticed that a lot of people don't actually know this what you can do from the home screen of your device to go quickly to the last app that you have used simply swipe like this right here at the bottom you know where the home bar is of course on the home screen you don't get the bar you only get it within apps just like that but what you gotta do here is just swipe like this and you will quickly go to the last app that you have opened the cool thing about ios 15 is that you can translate anywhere you're at on your ios device so let's say you're on the messages app you get a message maybe it's on another language you want to translate it to another language all you have to do is just sweep the touch on the message and tap on translate from here choose the languages from which to which you want to actually translate and you're good to go just like that you will be able to translate anything you want you will have the translation here you can also play the word to see basically how it's spelled you can do this anywhere on the messages app maybe on an email anywhere on ios you can simply 3d touch or just select the text and be able to completely translate that to the language you want for the next trick, you will need a shortcut. Now I've done a shortcuts video a few days ago and this one is actually very, very useful. Especially if you wanna buy a used iPhone, you need this and you need to check this. Now what this allows you to do is see how many battery cycles the device has gone through. Now the battery cycles basically will determine, of course, how old a battery is. Now normally an iPhone will go to about 200, 250 charging cycles in a year. So that's basically the average in which the iPhone goes through a year. Now, the way to do that, all you have to do is open the settings app, go under privacy and scroll down here to analytics and improvements and then go to analytics data. Now, what you gotta do here, just swipe down and find log aggregated. Make sure you find the last one. So just like here, you will see a list of log aggregated so let's just find that here it is so you can see log aggregated just make sure you go to the last one and from here tap that little share button and go ahead and run the shortcut from the share sheet it is called view battery cycle of course i will leave it linked right down below in the description and once you have done this you can see it will show you right there the battery cycles the battery has gone through 301 for this iphone and of course the health of the battery right there as well it is that simple to know the battery cycles of any device that you have simply run this shortcut which you can download from the link in the description now one of my favorite features that apple has lately added to ios of course on ios 15 ios 14 actually is the app library now pretty useful feature of app library is the ability to quickly open any app you search for so let's search for settings here you can see i search for settings i don't have to reach there all i have to do while i'm typing here search settings and tap go and that will directly open the settings app it is as easy as that to open any app from the app library simply search the app and tap go on the keyboard if you're editing a video on the photos app of ios what you can do if you tap on edit and you want to crop the video of course you want to see parts of the video and see what you're cropping and what not now when you go to the cropping tool right here you will get this bar right there which shows of course the minutes of the video now you can tap there and slide like this and move around on the video and see of course how the result the cropped video looks it is as easy as that just swipe this tool right here and you will be able to move through the video so that's it for this video guys these are 13 hidden tricks and features that you will find on your iphone that you probably didn't even know about most of these of course are super super useful and you must learn them and use them of course on your iphone so that's it for this video guys thank you for watching leave a like if you enjoyed the video of course don't forget to subscribe for more i'll see you on the next one